At First Glance The year was 1763, and in many ways, George Washington of America and King George III of Great Britain were very much alike. Both men had light blue eyes and reddish-brown hair. Athletic and dignified in appearance, each stood well over six feet tall, towering above most other men during a time when the average height was five foot seven inches. Both were honest and popular with the public. They liked simple food and much preferred plain clothes to the high fashion outfits of the period decorated with lace, ruffles, and embroidery. King George III was sometimes called Farmer George because of his long, lifelong interest in agriculture. George Washington was a farmer who was happiest when working on his land. Both were excellent horsemen and loved hunting. George III believed that a king should rule America. For a long time, George Washington thought so too. He had even fought bravely alongside the British Army. The people of Great Britain and the people of Britain's American colonies had a lot in common too. Most everyone on both sides of the ocean liked their good-natured young patriot king. English was their main language after all. 60% of the colonists had British ancestors. London was everybody's capital city and many Americans proudly thought of England as home. Great Britain had just won the Seven Years War which involved almost every country in Europe and extended all the way to India and Australia. King George was now the ruler of the world's greatest empire. As loyal citizens of Great Britain, colonial soldiers had joined forces with soldiers from England to fight against France for control of North America. When France gave up its territories, jubilant celebrations were held throughout both England and America. Who could imagine that the fabric binding America to Great Britain was about to unravel? Or that the two Georges were about to become bitter enemies? Who could guess that George III would be the last king of America and that George Washington would one day become its first president? Neither George Washington nor King George III was fully responsible for everything that happened next. Many other thinkers, soldiers, and politicians helped to shape the future. Even so, as leaders of the two sides, these two Georges were to become the strongest symbols of their countries during the next 20 years. The different ideas they stood for would soon turn the whole world upside down.